Hello guys, we're back to the second part of mocking the city hospital and I have here sort of like a chaotic scene <laughs> um, it's as if someone has broken in and uh, destroyed my whole city but it's not um, I've actually prepared most of the um, builds here uh, and I will be placing them here and I'll be showing you each portion um, so you could have an idea of uh, what my initial thoughts are, what techniques I intended to use um, for the different um, equipment and the different furniture, different um, rooms that will be in the ground floor. Um, I've initially already set up the tile works and I've placed in the spaces where I will be putting the different furniture and equipment and all sorts. I've already prepared that ahead of time. So yeah, it took a while for me to be able to recognize which ones I will put on the tiles, which ones I would need plates and which ones I would need to uh, leave as um, open spots like this ones and this ones as well. Um, here, I've also put ahead the entrance for the elevator, uh, which will be uh, leading up to the different floors. So let's go on ahead with the different furniture. Okay, so let's start off on the left section where I will be placing the chairs and the tables for the cafeteria. And for now, I've temporarily uh, kept the tables just as black bricks with plates on top where right here you could use any piece that you need or that you have in your collection and these ones are just simple tables that can be placed here oh. and then some more chairs so that I will be creating the service area on this portion where for this part, I'll be placing this. We have the cash register, cash, ketchup, and mayo or mustard. And then you have here a sandwich. And then at the bottom here, you have some sweets. And the technique for this one, if I remove this and this one, is to have a jumper plate so you can have three pieces of different um, foods or pastries instead of just having two at the bottom part here. So you're able to use up the spaces on each side. Put up. And then here I have a trans clear panel making a sort of opening area here. And I can place a pretzel and then just lock it in place like so. This way, um, when the customers go for um, trying to order something, they'll be able to see the pastries at the lower part. And you have a sandwich here and it's clear and clean. And when we're looking at the front part here, we can see them clearly as well. On this portion over here, I'll be placing sort of like a refrigerator or a container where I have beverages and milk, like so. I could place a few more pieces at the bottom here. Um, I'll be doing that a bit later, but right now we can already see the busy part of the pastry or the cafeteria. And again, on this part, I used orange just to have a little bit of um, contrasting color aside from the usual white and dark orange and then blue so uh, it's also um sort of like a known fact that orange um, is usually associated with um, food and hunger or uh, that's why usually the um, restaurants would have red and or orange 
as part of their logo or their color because they're usually the ones that are an indication of um, food or hunger, if memory serves right. Anyway, um, here we have another mini build where I have a coffee maker here. I hope it's properly zoomed in. Yep, there you go. Another sandwich, a simple uh, faucet with liquid soap, and then a cabinet at the bottom. So I'll be placing that here. And later on, I'll be doing an overview once I've placed in all the furniture of the ground floor. Now on this portion, I'll be placing another one, which is a water dispenser. There we go. So um, we have the reception here and we want this part to be covered up, which want this part I intend to have as um, the pharmacy, which would be behind the reception area. Now I will be placing walls here, but the walls won't be simple ones because there will be mini builds such as this one. Um, I have here uh, bricks uh, with um, studs on the side, like so, to create sort of like an illusion of cabinets here at the back, as well as this portion here. And then you have here some uh, medicines, some uh, prescription papers, uh, scissors, and then um, medical equipment, as well as a clock on top. And I'll be placing this one here. And just beside that, I have here some cabinets and syringes and some more um, sort of like medicines. And there we have an area. I'll be closing off this section. And this one will be where the transactions will happen as such. And then another brick here. I need one one by four brick to cover up that portion, which I'll probably add later on. <laughs> um, yeah, so on this portion, we have another four studs that is still on the section of the pharmacy. And I have actually created another simple build like this one. Um, mainly they're just one by four plates and I stacked bricks and round plates on top of each other to create sort of another cabinet as such. Um, I almost forgot I will also be placing a chair at the uh, interior of the pharmacy. I just need to grab this and such. Remove this portion here. Place the chair here where the pharmacist can do the transactions. And then there you go. And then here will be the toilet. Um, first, I'll probably lay in the walls like so. Covering up the pharmacy and separating it from the toilet. And then here, we have a sink with another soap, and then toilet bowl. Uh, this one is a little bit different, but um, Lego has used this type of build or technique for the toilet, mostly on the French theme sets as well as city sets. So this one is not so difficult to do, but it is effective as a technique for creating a toilet bowl. And then of course here, I intend to replace this uh, uh, lavender 
door with a white one. Um, but for now, I'll put this in as such. And then, of course, we can't forget the tissue. <laughs> it's so important. <laughs> okay, let's just, I'll replace this one as well here. So we can probably lock it in place. And then again, put some more bricks on top, like so, and another one here. Okay, guys, uh, in just those few minutes, we managed to um, com completely um, put a lot of details on this portion, as well as the middle part. Um, the only part missing is this one which I will do in just a second. Okay, so for this one, this is the emergency room. And honestly, I don't have a lot of ideas um, about the most accurate depiction of the ER, but I know just a little bit from uh, having seen movies and TV shows that have um, the ERs and this is, for monitoring, although technically this is a cash register, so <laughs> you'll have to forgive me for using this uh, piece, but um, I have a few of those available in my collection and I just want to use it for something that will be um, sort of uniform in most of the floors that we will have in the hospital. Next is our um, stretcher or our bed. And here is my small uh, bed. Usually they would have railings on the side. I have these um, one by two modified plates and they usually have this one with two um, sort of uh, round parts on the sides. And this one is actually missing here and that actually has another purpose. So if we place the bed as such, we have another piece, which is um, something that you put here. If I'm correct, this is the dextrose. I'm sorry if uh, <laughs> the medical terms are not correct, but um, so yeah, that's how we do it. Like um be able to have a minifigure here and then you have the doctors and nurses on this area trying to help the minifigure or the sick person here then you have a monitoring piece here and we'll be placing now the walls in this area but before i place the walls here um, this portion, I will have to add more details on, um, probably medical equipment that's used in the emergency room, but I don't know what those are yet, but then that's why I would need to ask my friends and my colleagues. Um, I will do now an overview with a uh, moving camera. So starting off from the entrance, you have here the reception area, and then you have an elevator on your left if you're coming from the entrance. And then here's the door that leads to the ER. There's another door here for the ER. And then you have here a bed. And then on the other side here, you have the pharmacy. We have different kinds of medicines and medical tools and equipment. And then from this corner here, you have the tables and the chairs for the cafeteria. You have the cafeteria here with lots of food, uh, drinks, and all sorts of uh, good service. And then you have here the toilet. Now. I do intend to put more details here, but 
that's mainly going to be used for the stairs that leads up to the second floor. So my idea is not to just have the elevator, but also to have stairs. Um, I'm figuring out how to do it. I already think I have that, but I'll have to do some trial builds first before I put them in that portion of the ground floor. And then let me just finish up the walls and the tiles for this level. So I've added a few more things. Um, one is the emergency light on that portion. And then the menu here with a printed tile and a few more drinks and pastries on the table, as well as this signage right here. So this one is similar to the one that's outside um, for the sign of the hospital. And I thought I'd try to do it in a 3D form that will be right in front or at the reception area. So I've placed a stud on the wall here, which would be for the pharmacy. And then I'll place... Oops. The 3d sign as such i might do a few more of these if i have enough of the um, parts but i really like that it's sort of symbolizing the uh, 3d signage of the hospital there we go and it also helps lock the wall pieces in place sort of strengthening the whole structure and there we go now um, I think almost everything's done aside from the stairs and this portion here but I could do that in another video but really right now after sort of like three hours of doing this I'm very happy with the results I'll turn the um, building around so you can see how it looks like in front. There we have it, guys. Uh, the 3D sign looks nice. I'm happy that I was able to add that. I might raise it up one brick higher so it doesn't um, have to have that kind of um, space on top of that. I'll try to try to... Uh, have it flushed in but the cafeteria is looking great I might be able to add two more chairs in this section here but yeah I'm quite happy with this one um, again it's looking really nice as a start for our hospital if you have comments suggestions please let me know in the comments down below and if you like this video, please click the like button and the subscribe button. The usual things that you do, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, aside from these ones, always be on the lookout for more um, mocks and alternative designs, modifications of existing sets. I still have projects on the works. I'm also doing commission jobs. So it's always busy with the Lego stuff. And I'm happy to be able to do these kind of things um, as my job. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.